Joshua, Selma. Thank you, sir. outside can you shout hallelujah if you can hear me amen please listen no matter where you are in this place this night whether you are in front or at the back it doesn't matter where you are in the name of Jesus the son of the living God the power of God will reach out to you where you are Hallelujah. I, it will never tire me to honor and celebrate our fathers and the leaders. Listen, learn this as a spiritual principle. This is not just some ritual. I sincerely honor and appreciate all the fathers and every man of God represented here. God bless you. Sir. Hallelujah. Um, the second thing will, will be very fast. There is a lot to do tonight. I lay down just for a few minutes to rest and all I saw was rain falling in this place. That was all I saw in my vision. A very heavy downpour of rain. The Bible says, until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine. And then a fruitful vine be counted for a forest. Please, wherever you are in the next five minutes, I'd like you to cry your heart before the God of heaven. I know you came as families. I know you may have come as ministry delegates. But please leave that all behind and let there be a desperation rising from your heart to the heavens. Alabaco Sabranda Gabara to Sieta Sabaruda Sieta Bretty to the Lava Mighty God Sabalan Shalabaco Rato Zabeata. Tonight is a defining moment for someone. A defining moment for a ministry, a family. Now the Lord is that spirit, the Bible says, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Visit me, O God. Let the grace that I so desire rest upon my life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please, if you are here to write your request, remember we agreed. Please make sure you just do it. And then number two, please, tonight everyone is an usher. Whether or not you are officially part of the ushering team so that people do not injure themselves. So, hallelujah. Inside and outside. So please make sure that you are your brother's keeper. Are we together? For those who have sent their requests, maybe by way of the social media or your phones or whatever, you can just scrabble it down. And we're going to be praying tonight. You're trusting God for a touch. You're trusting God for a miracle. We're going to disgrace the devil in this state tonight. 
fill my life till all they see it is you Lord. glorify your name fill my life till all they see it is you Lord that's my desire Feel my life say till all days is you Lord for all I want is for you for you to be glory for you to be lifted all i want is for you for you to be glorified be lifted high be lifted high for your glory be lifted high 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 for your glory, glory All I want is for you, for you to be glorified. All I want. Spirit of the living God, we treasure your presence. You are life to us. You're not a force. You're not a bird. You're not candle. You're not oil. You are the living God. And we celebrate your presence and your ministry in the midst of your people. Tonight we have come. Let there be an uprooting tonight, O oh God. Of everything that has not been planted by my father please give me volume and that everything that does not name the name of Christ in our lives it must give way tonight but Lord I also pray that tonight let there be distribution of strange mantles let graces fall upon people in the name of Jesus Christ let there be awakenings tonight let there be of spiritual realities in our lives in the name of jesus please be seated for a few minutes be very sensitive i just have a charge and then we'll pray isaiah 41 from verse 10 Isaiah Oh you are wonderful you've been you are glorious faithful in all your ways my help and my reward you are glorious my god beautiful you are 
wonderful you've been you are glorious faithful in all your ways my help and my reward you are glorious 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 you are glorious 41 verse 10 fear thou not for i am with thee be not dismayed for i am thy god i will strengthen you yea i will help thee i will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness next verse Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they shall they that strive with thee shall perish. 12. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contend with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing. And as a thing of naught. Verse 13. For I the Lord thy God will hold thy right hand. Saying unto you. Fear not. I will help thee. 14. Fear not thou worm Jacob. And ye men of Israel. For I will help thee saith the lord and thy redeemer the holy one of israel we're reading to 16 15. behold i will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument thou shalt thresh the mountains them small thou shalt make the hills as sharp the last verse 16 thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice in the lord and thou shalt glory in the holy one of israel ebenezer part two let's just do something very quickly we began to discuss yesterday how that god designed in man a limitation that only him can feel and that men were not designed to be without assistance that it is not usual for men to live their lives unassisted from the realm of the spirit we did agree that the strength of a believer is not just predicated on his physical muscle or his intellectual muscle but his connection with heaven are we together and that to the degree to which we are connected from the realm of the spirit that is the degree to which we excel in this realm and we began to examine the various support systems that God has designed in his dealings with men to help ordinary men become mighty one of it was we examined the mystery of God's mercy that God's mercy is beyond just sinners it is a system that was put in his economy to ensure that weak men remain strong to ensure that regardless the limitations of men they still end up birthing the purposes of god hallelujah the mercy of god is very powerful the bible says i will meet with you above the cherubims below the mercy seat there i will commune with you and so there is a place that God finds men. I have a number of them, but then I'll just talk about one for tonight just to charge our hearts. The second system that the Lord has provided to help men. And in fact, this for me is a secret of all great exploits in the kingdom. The Bible calls him the helper. 
the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. Romans chapter 8 and verse 26. Paul was teaching in Rome and he was introducing them apostolically to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. He was up and doing, trying to strengthen the church. And he said, likewise. Until that time, he had communicated a few things. And he said, likewise, in this similitude, the Spirit also helpeth. So the Holy Spirit does many things in the life of a believer. It was Jesus who was teaching according to John's gospel. And he said, I have many things to tell you, but ye cannot bear them now. Then he says, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, that he will guide you in all truth. He will take off that which is of me, and he will give it to you. The Holy Spirit, he came as many things to the believer. And among the many things, the Bible calls him a helper. It's amazing the Holy Spirit can help men to be helped means to be assisted to be helped means to be provided an advantage until you win are we together now likewise the Spirit of God help it we're coming to the remaining part but I just want to show you from Scripture that the Holy Ghost is not only a provider he's not only God he's not only the one who guides us but that the Holy Spirit was sent as the advantage to men. Ordinary men plus the Holy Spirit becomes supernatural people. An ordinary business plus the Holy Spirit becomes one that has the signature of exploits. An ordinary ministry plus the Holy Spirit. He is the secret and the force behind everything that brings glory to the Father in this kingdom. His assignment is to bring beauty and glory out of your life. People into real people. Uh -uh. It is our understanding of him. The Holy Spirit it has an assignment to insist until the entire faculties of your destiny look like the Christ. Life and is received after that betrothal, that marriage happens between you and him. His ministry begins immediately in your life, and working with him consistently. After a few years, you look at your life and all that you will see is the beauty and the glory of God. It doesn't matter if you can speak English. It doesn't matter whether you're educated or not. It doesn't matter whatever geographic um, advantage or disadvantage. The moment you embrace him as the spirit of the living God, the advantage, the equalizer, the spirit of God that regardless the disadvantage in a man's life the moment he comes and you embrace him believe me he will turn your life to a sign and a wonder Catherine Kuhlman used to shout about him and talk a lot about him and she would say do not grieve the Holy Spirit he's all that I have now if you really do not have a relationship with the Holy Ghost you will not understand that kind of beckoning. It will just look like a feminine emotional thing. When you really get to know who the Holy Spirit is and you have the privilege of being exposed to the multifaceted dimensions of his ministry, you will not trade him for anything. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul was teaching and he said, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ he said the love of God then he says the fellowship is the word koinonia the participation the sharing together of the Holy Spirit he says let it abide with you let it not visit you let it abide that reality that spiritual state of fellowship let it tabernacle with you we live in a world that is unfair by default either because of sociological differences tribal differences uh, governmental interferences there were there are different reasons why people do not find a platform of advice 
advantage sociologically speaking but then when you embrace the ministry of the holy spirit he begins to walk you through life he begins to navigate you until you get to a point where your life is nothing short of a sign and a wonder and in the name of Jesus, he wants to introduce certain dimensions of himself to your life, to your ministry, to your business, to your family, to your marriage. As many as received him, that means you can reject him. Anything you can receive, you can also reject. And many have rejected him. Some have done it consciously. Some have done it unconsciously. But I'm leading you tonight to an experience to not only celebrate the miracles that can come through his outstretched arm, but to embrace his ministry and watch your life become an unending epistle of wonder. Hallelujah. Are we together? So the Bible identifies the Holy Spirit as the advantage. The Holy Spirit supplies power. Listen to me. The Holy Spirit is the dimension of the Godhead that is the custodian of spiritual power. You have to understand this. The administration of spiritual power resides in the office of the Holy Spirit. There are many roles that he plays according to scripture. The first revelation of the Godhead was him, not even the Father, not even the Son, according to scripture. Genesis 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Then it says, Now the earth was dark, void, formless, and the Spirit of God hovered round. So the moment there is chaos and anarchy in your life, the dimension of the Godhead that is sent is the Spirit of God. He's a master over darkness. He's a master over chaos. Every time you begin to see him move around, something is about to happen. And the Spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters. Then God said, light be. And the Bible says there was light. And because of the presence of the Holy Spirit, everything God said, he saw. Everything he said, he saw. If you ignore him, you will keep saying it, but you will never see it. He says it and sees it because the Spirit of God is already moving. The Holy Spirit is the maker of men. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives power to weak men. The Spirit of the Lord, he is called. The Spirit of dominion. He turns your life to a sign and a wonder. Your words become like the word of God. His office is responsible for the administration of spiritual power to the saints. So every time you find individuals who demonstrate supernatural dimensions of spiritual power, authority in the spirit, dumbfounding principalities and powers, the power to heal, the power to deliver, the power to prophetically redirect the causes of men's lives, that ability comes from the office of the spirit. It's called his divine power. Not the divine power, his divine power. That is the power that gives us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Your faith is merely your connection point to that divine power. Faith is like a host. It is not what supplies water. It is what connects you to the source. The real source is the Holy Spirit. You can have faith and ignore him, you will still not receive anything. Your faith merely connects you to eternity. That endless portal where you can receive spiritual power. Listen to me. You need the power of the Holy Spirit to be efficient in ministry. You need the power of the Holy Spirit to survive today's world. You need the power of the Holy Spirit to survive the vicissitudes of life. You need the power of the Holy Spirit translated in your life as supernatural intelligence dimensions of illumination and light that dumbfounds principalities and powers ignoring his ministry will be to our peril I have learned from scripture and I have learned from experience that whoever embraces the spirit of the living God 
must be turned into a wonder it may not look like it when he's walking in your life but let me tell you give him time and he will bring beauty he will turn your life to Beulah and Hephzibah and so we have come tonight to appreciate his ministry to be benefactors of his outstretched arm but much more than that we have come for many of us to create a reconnection for many of us we have come to receive a fresh desire for his person not just for preaching not just for money not just for business not just for marriage not just for children hallelujah now give me a minute or sure and let me show you a spiritual technology that is responsible for translating our relationship with the Holy Spirit into spiritual power that is provable here and now there are many believers who know the Holy Spirit but they have not sustained the intelligence on how to benefit to administer the power that resides within him so that you can make use of it here and now are we ready follow me Acts chapter 1 the Bible tells us that when Jesus rose from the dead he appeared for a period of 40 days theologically teaching the disciples on the matters of the kingdom and then he was lifted in their presence and he left and then they tarried at the upper room 10 more days and then the Holy Spirit would come upon them this is Jesus teaching them now Acts 1 and verse 8 it says but ye shall receive power everybody say power is the Greek word dunamis it's not just ability like force uh -uh. it is an ability of the spirit that is capable like air is capable of recycling itself in your life are we together now it is it is an ability that does not run dry you can engage it and its efficiency can be continuous it says you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and that power shall make you witnesses unto me so follow me carefully Jesus himself is speaking he said you shall receive what now watch this the sequence is that the Holy Ghost comes upon you first and Jesus is telling us that everything that follows after the Holy Ghost comes upon you is called what power are we together now that every time you see the Holy Ghost show up whatever he comes with is called power Acts chapter 2 please and verse 1 the Bible says now let me just quote it before they get it now when the day of Pentecost was fully come it says they were all with one accord in one place now that scripture is about verse 2 the Bible says suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty and it filled the room where they were sitting verse 3 and there appeared unto them cloven tongues as of fire and it sat upon each of them verse 4 read with me if you're a Christian ready one to read stop 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 hang on there remember the Bible says when the Holy Ghost comes whatever else follows him is called what now read this the Holy Ghost comes they are filled with the Holy Ghost and what is the next thing that happens they began to speak with other tongues so what is the power that whatever follows the Holy Ghost is called power it's not called a language it is called power.
power and the bible says this sequence was now honored in acts chapter 2 the holy ghost came and they, they will have an ability to start lifting things but when he came suddenly they found themselves speaking in certain languages you shall receive power but what we see that they received here was tongues that means the power is shrouded in a mystery you shall receive a shoe but what you now receive is a bag from Conga. Where do you think the shoe is? Please listen to what I'm teaching you now. You shall receive a wristwatch. And what you receive is a triangular gift. What should you do? Begin to explore that gift. Because... The gift was not what I said I would give you. I said I would give you watch. But what you are receiving is not watch. That means somewhere in that gift resides that power. Is someone walking with me? Now, because many people know the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And yet they keep looking around. Where is the power? Lord, you said the power will come. He did not lie. The power came. You have not just been cultured into the technology that releases that power from within your spirit. Ah. You were brooding over every darkness. You were causing light to shine. You were brooding. did not come necessarily by reason of gender and then the holy spirit begins to take you through a journey to explore the mysteries that are hidden in that language please come with me first corinthians chapter 2 let's start from verse 6 we're about to pray first corinthians chapter 2 you will understand why your prayer life has been under attack you will understand why Satan will prefer to leave your health and attack your prayer life. You will understand why Satan will not mind you doing your thing while he attacks your prayer life. You will also understand why the house of God is called the house of prayer. Verse 6. How be it we speak. Aha. Uh -huh. Paul is speaking now. And he's saying whatever it is has to do with speech and has to do with words are we together now it says we speak wisdom among them that are mature yet not the wisdom of this world nor the princes of this world that comes to naught next verse verse 7 but we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery what is a mystery a mystery is a body of knowledge that is privy to a group of people it is not it is not on plain sight for public consumption are we together now it says even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory so whatever that wisdom is we know that there is a connection between that wisdom that comes through speech and the glory of the saints are you following now please let's not miss ourselves Paul is speaking about the glory of the saints manifesting and he's saying that glory is connected to the hidden wisdom that is in a mystery which none of the princes of this world knew for had they known it they would not have crucified the Lord of glory verse 9 
but as it is written i had not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for them that love him hallelujah verse 10 is no longer a mystery for the saints but god has revealed reveal them unto us how now remember we are still talking about the holy spirit again he has revealed them by his spirit and then he now describes an ability of the spirit that is powerful that the spirit has the ability to go to the mind of god and search whatever is there and bring it to the saints he calls it the god the holy spirit is the only authorized entity that on legal ground can access the mind of the father and search what is in there for me and you and transport it and bring it to our realm paul is saying it is the, in the office of the holy spirit to search any other person who tries to search will not be able to find holy spirit can search the mind of the father and reveal it to the saints and now on the strength of that revelation the saints can engage that which has been brought to them and walk in glory verse 11 for what man knoweth the things of man save the spirit of man which is in him even so the things of god knoweth no man that means if I look at you right now and I, I say you are a pastor and I prophesy to you the Bible says it is not given to man to have that information someone is a bridge between our limitation and our ignorance are you getting what I'm saying now that it is not usual for men that ability is not given to the ordinary man there is a limit to the information we can access and that everything that is higher than the three-dimensional realm was sponsored by an entity called the holy spirit he can bring from heaven an information i was not born with an information i know nothing about and supply it here and now and the bible says dispensing that knowledge brings the saints into glory read verse 12 together everybody one two three now we have received not the spirit of the world but spirit uh, that we may things that are freely given. so there are things that are freely given he said that god had blessed us with all spiritual things in heavenly places but that engaging the ministry of the holy spirit as a helper now opens us up to these dimensions but you shall receive power power that translates into wisdom power listen power is god's currency look up let me teach you something If you want to buy a car, what do I give you? Money. Is that true? Because that is the, that is the currency. It's, it's a legal tender that allows for exchange. Are we together now? I give you money. So, if you say, Apostle, I want to buy a car, and I look at you and say, okay, take. Here is 2.5 million or 4 million or whatever amount. This is my gift to you. I didn't give you a car but I give you the purchasing power. You can translate that money to anything. The same money that buys a car can buy you food in a restaurant. So when I give you money, I've given you more than a car. Are you getting what I'm saying now? God's currency for doing business in the realm of the spirit is called power. You can change power to wisdom. You can change power to wealth. You can change power to influence. What if, if you are praying, God does not answer your prayer by bringing the prayer. He answers your prayer by supplying power. When you receive that power, His divine power has given us how many things? So God does not bring direction as you think. God does not bring a husband as you think. God received the impartation of a history of a dealing with the Spirit. Listen, this is how I started though 
every night kabakato shiata rekete brandaga soprata shila bahasa rakato shata branda kato ziata and you may not understand one year becomes two years one day you will look at someone who has a headache and you say can i pray with you and you have barely brought your hand to touch the person and the person is healed while men are clapping for you god says let's go back to class quickly quickly don't be carried away please help them you don't carry the presence of god just as no there is a real track record of many years of consistency listen the destruction in our generation is why people don't have power you give god five minutes you are bathing while you are praying in tongues and you just shower quickly praying in tongues and making call and insulting in the process and you come out and you just believe that arbitrarily you will have power over nations and territories Abba. believers let's go back to the ancient pattern that brought power to men i challenge you go back and shift the programs in your life and create a consistent space for your prayer life and your fellowship with god i challenge you get a flash drive put together powerful worship songs apostle i can't sing i didn't say you are the one who will sing let someone do the singing for you god gave you a phone not just for browsing some of us are addicted to this social media thing for god's sake i'm not against it but you must be delivered from that spirit if not you will never have power with god hear me if a major part of your life is seen by men you are not glorious everything that is glorious is veiled a major part of your life must be hidden in the secret place Anna the prophet has taught us how to bring things down whoever can bring Jesus down from heaven can bring any other thing from the realm of the spirit to this realm Anna the prophetess the same thing consistently do you know how many of you got born again ask your mothers mama was not a powerful Christian she didn't know much but every night 12 on the dot no matter what your discussion is she has to go and meet with God God I cannot sing but use one of my children 1981 she prayed it 1985 she prayed it 1990 she prayed it and while you were on your way strolling to the club the angel that was sent to defend that sacrifice there are angels that defend sacrifices this is why the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong yeah he reproved kings there are angels sacrifices substance in the spirit it can be defended by the jealousy of God that's why God does things for people for the sake of others are you learning something tonight so when you pray in the spirit it's not just that you are on your way to become an emoji no it's not just you are your way to become a woman of God you are converting relationship to power and to the final product it can be a job it can be whatever prayer is not just for deliverance alone the primary assignment of prayer is for fellowship and intimacy and so while it is night no noise you are alone with God there's worship just like this playing Lord just to let you know that I love you I'm available to be used by God and there are angels watching there are demons watching the demons that stop your family are also watching they are witnesses of your sacrifice may God deliver this our generation from laxity and unseriousness someone looks at you and says I am your boss I promise you except this is not my company you will be fired don't fight if you fight physically you are not wise remember in the Bible and through history believers 
don't just fight physically yet they go to the realm of the spirit while that man is sleeping you are programming your climate that man is sleeping and is having a vision of a warning yes beware that lady you see is not just a clerk there is a covenant on her life behave yourself he will get up he won't tell you he had the dream he just says how are you this morning i hope you everything have you eaten are you all right our excessive lamentation is proof that we do not know how to correct things in the spirit your church is not growing and you are wondering why and you go back and the spirit of god comes upon you his power comes and the lord says you are missing it here you're not getting it here there is a principle you do not understand this is a generation that only understands power nobody will just believe in you for nothing believe me people need real results in their lives if you're in ministry here or you are going into ministry please hear me among the many things that you need is true spiritual power genuine power that produces real results otherwise get ready for empty pews hallelujah is someone ready to pray we're going to take 10 minutes and we're going to pray in the spirit now hear me be sensitive to the holy ghost as you pray for many of you as you are praying the first revival tonight is your prayer life and your relationship with the holy ghost suddenly you will find out that your all these appetites that continue to eat up your time are suddenly going away are we together are you ready to pray lift your voice and begin to cry to the lord in one minute but you shall receive power Ebenezer, the helper of men. Salabaragadosa brendes yalabash. Salanda sabrakato sali parashana brahaskabaria. Now, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were gathered together in one accord. Salata paruka tapariya takates. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Be serious. Saparuta Saprante Caparutia La Hasabara Parado Sapranda Calapra Tessa de Bagata Sacateca Tepacata Protosoto Padia Tabara The Making of Man the making of man the consistency that translates relationship to power haroda shalam prakato setelesh kaparuda selesh em prakata kata pakato prakato soto barikate swallowing up your weaknesses rakata paruto soto predakate swallowing up your ignorance skamadanda prakato skala pratakato sasyata hasa Kepato Shamaru Sate Kotasilata, Empra Koto Soto Parukato Saprakate, Empra Kato Shaleta Prakate Parutos, Prakata Pakato Soto Prakatekate, and the Prakatekate Prakato Sapesh, Shakatekate, Rakata Prato Soto Prakotosiasa. Hallelujah! 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 Please everyone say after me in the name of Jesus.
Please shout it inside and outside in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I declare a fresh reconnection to the ministry of the Holy Ghost. Say, Holy Spirit, I desire a fresh relationship with you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Fresh relationship with the Holy Spirit. Paradosali prakatosa de ten negate. Leka prakatosa to prakatoshi ala paranda sarakosh. E prakatosho prondoso to prakade bala prakata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are praying. Jesus said, My house, whether it is a church building or your body, it is all his house. He said, There is a name it must be called. It must be called the house of prayer. So if your body is the house of God, you prove that it is truly the house of God by turning it into a house of prayer say in the name of Jesus I declare from tonight that this house becomes a house of prayer and a house of power lift your voice and begin to pray power in the heavens power from the realm of the spirit hallelujah praise the lord please look up look up everyone hallelujah the bible tells us in acts chapter 28 that having arrived an island called melita the sea was boisterous and when everyone was panicking the angel of the lord appeared unto paul and told him there shall be no loss and the bible says they arrived safely at an island called melita and while they were gathering sticks everybody watch this do you know while they were gathering sticks there was a viper in the stick but because of how cold the stick was the viper could not be released the moment they set those sticks on fire the viper that was hiding could no longer hide it is because your life is too cold that's why there are certain things hiding and will not be revealed the moment your life is set on fire through the ministry of prayer the things that are hidden begin to be made manifest in one minute say in the name of jesus every planting that is not of the lord in my life as i pray be exposed lift your voice and pray Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points, and I'll begin to minister. In the name of Jesus, listen, please listen. The Bible says, the moment John, the prophet, brought Jesus out of the waters, it says the heavens open and the Spirit of God came. Remember, power is always after the Holy Ghost. Now, when the Holy Ghost came on Jesus, he was not manifesting power yet immediately the bible says the spirit drove him to the wilderness and for 40 days he was praying and fasting and having been tempted of the devil and he overcame him in matthew chapter 4 the bible says and he returned in the power he went full of the spirit but he returned in the power and between his going and his coming the only thing we see is prayer for 40 days of generating spiritual power he returned in the power and his fame spread abroad say in the name of jesus every attack on my prayer life every attack on my spiritual life every attack on my consistency in the name of jesus be destroyed right now lift your voice and pray every destruction hallelujah in the name of Jesus 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 the last prayer point has to do with your destiny it says lo I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do your will listen to me the gates of your destiny will never open until you pray let me show you a mystery and then i'll begin to minister are you ready acts chapter 12 from verse 1. please don't be distracted don't worry you will submit your request hang on we'll soon allow you to submit your request follow this scripture this is the last prayer point now about the time herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church next verse we're reading the first 10 verses he killed james the brother of john with the sword and when he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further to take peter also then were the days of the unleavened bread except for verse 4 and when he had apprehended him watch this he put him in prison 
and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after easter to bring him forth to the people this is the wickedness that prevails in our world the condition to be a victim of wickedness is to be born by a woman you don't have to trouble anybody just arrive here and that's it you have satisfied the condition peter therefore was kept in prison talk to me southeast but prayer but prayer not and prayer but prayer was made how long the key is not prayer the key is consistency but prayer was made without season of the church unto god for him now watch the miracle verse 6 and when herod would have brought him forth the same night while peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door of the prison seven my goodness my god behold an angel so there is a relationship between prayer and angels they don't just come they are instructed to come the angels would have when they killed james where were the angels it meant someone on earth who was not praying was authorizing darkness to continue are you getting what i'm saying now the same angels were still in heaven when they were killing james but when they caught peter they said enough is enough and they began to pray and the angel said now you authorize our ministry on earth and the angel of the lord came to him watch this and a light shined in prison and he smote peter by the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell off his hand so prayer can remove chains we are examining what prayer can do the second thing that prayer can do is in the next verse please get this revelation next verse hmm. and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and he did and he also cast his garment and followed him so prayer can bring restoration his garment his shoes everything had been taken away from him prayer did not only remove the chains prayer brought back the things that he lost number three verse nine now this is where i want your eyes to be open he went out prayer can bring advancement he was in the prison and it was on account of prayer the angel said follow me it's time to go forward now watch this he followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but he thought he was in a vision verse 10 and when they were past what the first and the second gates hold on in this story there are three gates to every man's destiny from the prison there was the first gate he was out of the first gate but he was not yet free the first gate he moved past the second gate he was no longer in the prison but he was not out either ways and he came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate which led to where this is the gate that controls influence the moment this gate opens the city must receive your ministry please hear me you can be doing ministry you are not in prison but you are not in the city the iron gate is still a limitation the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder so when our father was standing here yesterday and speaking that the gates be open i'm sure many of you just think it's just a lot of nonsense and gibberish these are mysteries the bible says the iron gate that led to the city and it opened on its own accord you can be in enugu for 10 years 20 years and you are just moving around you are moving in the open but in the realm of the spirit the gate is closed are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus Every gate, Every gate.
closing against my destiny be open now lift your voice and pray please help them lift your voice and pray Shele paruta sana bakaroto siata Empre kata para to soto prokoto sia Be open now Be open now The iron gate That opens up my business The iron gate That opens up my ministry The iron gate That opens up my destiny Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen. I told you that. Hold on, please. You, 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 okay, maybe you, you just keep them there. I hope the fan will not push them. Please. We're about to step into a very serious prophetic moment in this meeting right now. And I'd like for your heart to be very sensitive. Number one, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, just wave it up and there will be people. Please, all the ushers holding the baskets, let them know where you are and they will pass it. Don't fight, don't fight, please. You can pass it to the last person, he will help you drop it. Please make sure those outside are also receiving it and make sure that our online community, those who are following from whatever part of the world, are part of this Haluze Bradis Yatabala Zubadadish. I'm about to pray for the sick. I'm about to pray that the yokes that tie the destinies of men, please hear me in the name of Jesus except it is not the god of heaven we are serving if there is anything that has kept you not tomorrow this night it must go yeah. hallelujah The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing like a saxophone in the spirit. This is what I'm seeing. And it's a sound that the Lord is about to blow from the realm of the spirit in this room. Please listen. It's a sound of deliverance. Please hear me. Whether inside or outside, we're about to shout just one shout and anything that is not of the christ tying down your destiny tying down your foundations i tell you it must give way not now not tomorrow i meant to say but right now father by the ministry of the spirit by the ministry of angels scattered in and out of this place oh god are great people who have been tied down i'm telling you i'm seeing several chains in the spirit this is what i'm seeing at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus inside and outside please bring all the people who have been delivered there is massive deliverance god is visiting foundations are you ready at the count of three over enugu i speak to the realm of the spirit and I declare the time for the liberty of the saints has come. Get ready now. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. I command every power. I command every yoke. 
Be broken now. Be broken now. Bring them out. Be broken now. Inside, outside. Be broken now. Eva Ruto Shoke Peke Pele Papa. Eke Koko Shkope Lepe. Shkope Lepe. I command power. I command yoke. Be lifted, O oh, ye gates. And be ye lifted, ancient door. Let the King of Glory come. Let the King of Glory come. Let the King of Glory come. In the name of Jesus, bring them out. Bring them out. There is a chain I'm seeing on ladies. I don't know what this means. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you will shout that name. I'm seeing fire coming around the belly areas of people. There is massive deliverance going on. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. I command altars. I tear down altars, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance, speaking against your destiny, speaking against you. We nullify by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. Please look up. It's asking me to do delay. There are families who have been tied down for many years. You are moving, but are not moving in life and in ministry. At the count of three, the power of God is going to locate you where you are. And that chain will be broken father anyone here under the siege of delay at the count of three may the fire fall on that destiny one two three be free now be free now be free now i cause delay over our families i cause delay over our destinies i cause delay inside out online I declare delay be broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who is Chidima? Chidima. I hear the name Chidima. You are wearing a red hair tie. Chidima. Who is that? You are wearing like a red hair tie. Is there someone like that? Come. Madam, please come. Listen, in one minute, lift your voice. Mention what must live your life now. Please open your mouth and pray. These Egyptians that you see today, that you shall see them no more forever. Don't be silent. Open your mouth and pray. Prayer can break chains. Prayer can restore. Prayer can advance. Southeast pray. Enugu pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now listen, madam, please look at me. Tap this woman for me. I don't know who this woman is, but I'm seeing a lot of oppression around your family. Madam, look at me. Where is your husband? Huh? Your husband. Tell him the month of January. 2021 is his month of breakthrough for the family i declare in the name of jesus that this oppression comes to an end now <laughs> who is christopher i'm hearing the name christopher you are holding a child christopher i'm seeing a baby like a female 
Christopher. Who is that? Atmosphere. She. This man is not holding a baby now. I saw a baby in my okay. Your name is Christopher. Yes, is sir. this your child? Yes, sir. Your name is Christopher yes, too. Sir. You are holding a child. Yes, sir. I'm going to pray. Don't worry, you came. I saw a lady, but I hope the girl is not crying. Yes. If she's crying, let any woman who can help with children help her. My friend, is this your child? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? From 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 Onicha. Onicha. Yes, sir. You came for this conference. Yes, sir. What do you do? I do I do transportation business. No, that's not the only thing you do. I do I, I learn trade Mo old motor spare parts. I'm seeing you sell spare parts. Yes, sir. This is the real thing you do. Yes, sir. Transportation yes, sir. is just once in a while. Yes, sir. You are not very consistent. Yes, sir. In it yes, sir. Because I'm looking at someone that God is going to grant you grace. That spare part, there is an anointing on it for you. Amen. Yeah, listen it's important that you are divinely directed don't just do things because people are doing it it may end you in a lot of casualty i pray for you in the name of jesus christ may the hand of the lord rest upon you. name of jesus Amen. may the hand of the lord rest upon you Amen. what is nee -E? huh like a name, something attached to a person's name. Is there something like that? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Like N, then E again. Eh? No, your name is not me. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord telling me your name. Who is Nena? Is that not your name? Come. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, noise, my, my sister just keep quiet huh? stand up stand up two weeks ago you saw me in your dream yes sir keep quiet i was, I was telling these people about it that i've been having revelations yes, wait now no. let me talk to you my sister <laughs> listen it's true <laughs> god wants to help you but don't be embarrassed eh the only thing you need to work on is communication, your words. If you can work on that one, it will deliver you from a lot of trouble. But you are a woman that is greatly favored by God. I pray for you right now. No, no, you don't have to touch me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon your life and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I'm seeing Kai. I'm going to pray but one, two, three, four, five years, no child. No child. The angel of the Lord is telling me, okay, five years. Don't just come out. We'll pray. Please, I'll send you back if it's, if it's not five years. In the name of Jesus, let's behave ourselves. Are we together? You and your wife. Do you believe that next year by this time? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. See, listen. Listen. Let me teach you something. It is pride to administer at a level of grace you do not have. The Bible says that we minister according to the measure of grace. That means before you talk, you must be able to examine whether you have the level of grace. To sponsor that spiritual reality now listen there are so many people who are coming out now for various reasons um it will be rowdy i've not started praying for the sick yet and all of that i'm just i'm talking of people five years this is what god told me five years where is your husband he's not he, he was here in the body he could look of this evening. what do you do i'm an event planner you believe that God 
Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. And that's Jesus! In the name of Jesus, my sister, I pray for you. I don't care what the medical situation is. According to the time of life, return back to your children. Help her, please. I'm interested in this man. You are, are you a man of God? Yes, sir. Please, where? In Enugu here, sir. In Enugu here? Yes, sir. And your wife? Yes, sir. How long, sir? Five years, sir. Five years? Yes, sir. And this is your wife? Yes, sir. Madam, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, I'm praying this prayer in public. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. I prophesy to you both according to the time of life. Do you see what is happening to your wife? In the name of Jesus, I speak to that womb. Be open now. Be open now. Carry your children by the spirit of grace. In the name of Jesus. I salute you, sir, for being a man of God. And in spite of all this challenge, you are still on most people may never understand what it means to be in pain you are setting others free from what you are going through it is painful we salute you we honor you for your diligence for the kingdom in the name of jesus i have spoken over your life go and you will return back with your testimony in jesus name five years the power of god is going to come upon one of you now after that i will, pr I will pray for the rest help her that's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. And that plague of witchcraft, I curse it now. Now! Release her womb now. Release her womb now. There are three of you that I'm praying this for because I'm seeing what looks like a snake tying your stomach. I declare by the Spirit of the Christ, release that womb now. And I speak to you who have been trusting God for five years in the name of Jesus and according to the time of life. Sir, you are a man of God too? Oh dear. How many of you here are men of God in ministry? In ministry. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In ministry. Actively preaching. Please come. You are a pastor in this city, sir? Yes, sir. How long have you been trusting Nine God? Years. Nine years. Yes, sir. Oh dear. Sir, I'm looking at you. Is your wife here? Huh? I want to talk to you. I don't know why God is interested in you. Who has been trusting God for 13 years? Yes, 13 years. 13 years. 2007. How many years now? 13 years. This is what I'm saying. Come and stand here. It's time for this to end in your life. <laughs> Madam, where are you? Kai, God, please don't come out at random. If you do this, we'll not be able to do. Don't worry. And don't feel bad that maybe God is calling some. It's not my doing. I'm only just obedient to what the Holy Ghost is doing. But you can be sure that everybody will receive something. Are we together now? Sir, God has seen your heart and He really wants to help you. You are a good man and god wants to help you yes, sir. 13 years the lord is giving a baby boy to a woman called Ifoma. who is Ifoma? what's your name Ifoma. god is giving you the miracle of a baby boy my look at me madam do you believe what i'm saying yes sir don't just if you don't believe say i don't believe you are and all but i want you to believe it and receive it I I, I, do it. i know you sir I don't know anything about you, no, madam. Sir. In the name of Jesus, right now, the spirit that is holding fruitfulness over this family, I come against it now. Amen. 13 years of oppression, 13 years of barrenness, you come under judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I release you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, sir. Please go and return with your testimony. You are a pastor? Please come, sir. And your wife, how long? Okay, you said nine years. Is your wife pregnant? Is she okay? Yes, sir. Madam, 
I need to pray for you. Don't feel embarrassed. There's something in your stomach. Huh? I will pray for you. This is it's not for public discussion, but in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, for your glory, do a miracle in the life of this man and his wife. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Ha, this is amazing. I'm stretching my hands here, but the person the power of God will touch is in the crowd now. A loud shout will come from that person. I'm praying for this person, but the devil has programmed the same thing happening to this man to happen to that person, and God is going to deliver that person now. A loud shout, not a random shout. The Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy Ghost is coming on that person right now. This is what God is telling me. A loud shout to the hearing of everyone. That person shouting, the Lord himself is delivering that person from this situation. Sir, I speak to you according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus, return with your miracle. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are a pastor, sir. God bless you, sir. You can return back. Let me pray for you and your dear wife. You pastor your own church? Yes. I have to pray for you. Madam, you're a good woman, but I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm not seeing a face. I'm just seeing a body alone. In the name of Jesus, I blot out everything that does not represent the counsel of the Christ. For you, sir, and for your dear wife, I declare in the name of Jesus, the anointing of the spirit is coming on your wife. And in the name of Jesus Christ, an end comes to this captivity. There is a strong teaching anointing, sir, that is upon your life, but God is going to be multiplying it. Amen. A strong grace, Amen. a revelatory teaching grace, yes, yes. God is giving you. Amen. But alongside it, I'm seeing the healing anointing too, yes, yes. that God is bringing oh, to your God. life. These two graces will be the signature graces of your ministry. Amen. I declare in the name of Jesus, may the Lord do this miracle for you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Are you men of God? You are a pastor? How long have you been married, sir? Five years. Five years. Yeah. Your wife? Please see me after service, sir. Huh? You understand? Just see me after service. This, your wife? Five years. Victory. Victory. That's somebody's name victory not victoria oh, victory like victory i don't know who that person is victory no it's not a man it's a lady victory is there don't worry don't keep this your name is victory where are you coming from my dear you are an enugu here i stretch my hands this oppression that i see over your family by the anointing of the holy ghost be free from it now be free from it now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Every abnormality around your bodies is corrected right now. In the name of Jesus, you go and return back with supernatural miracles to the glory of the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, for all of you who are standing, wow, we have to rush. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Let the power of the Holy Spirit open up your wombs. In the name of Jesus, return with your miracles. Return with your miracles. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Let's pray for the sick now. How many of you are trusting God for a miracle in one area of your life or the other? Okay now right where you are just lay your hands there you don't have to come out lay your hands there i want to pray for you now please be sensitive we have to hurry up because um when i pray for you i'm going to invite a few of the fathers in the land we're going to stand here and prophetically we're going to be activating destinies in this place hallelujah praise the name of the lord lay your hands right now where you are trusting god for a miracle now we just have about 10 minutes for this watch this please can i have 
um, maybe if you can help us arrange one or two pastors so that when I pray for you as soon as I ask you to check yourself miracles will begin to happen in this place inside and outside and when you find out that the power of God has touched you I want you to run out maybe we can have here and here and then we can have a few pastors you confirm them and then we'll take the testimony so maybe the pastors can coordinate themselves very quickly lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and now is also the time where you can stand for someone thank you Jesus I'd like you to agree with me as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now listen the healing anointing will begin to flow through this place there are two people the Lord is revealing to me inside here they are going to shout loud by the Spirit the moment that shout comes I don't know why God does this sometimes the healing anointing will begin to flow two of them I'm ready to pray for you now in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke every spirit of infirmity I rebuke every devil of infirmity the spirits that are behind infirmities behind diseases behind discomforts behind afflictions I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare right now from the left to the right the front to the back inside outside online I declare be healed in the name of Jesus the healing power of Jesus Christ is flowing to you right now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus I'm seeing breast lump living the Lord is healing breast lump in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone here you have hold on please you have like a urinary problem you urinate frequently sometimes even out of control the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone is it that you are completely deaf or you don't hear completely with your right ear let it be open right now in the name of Jesus now I declare deaf ears be open now in the name of Jesus every form of blindness complete blindness partial blindness be healed now in the name of Jesus I pray everyone on crutches everyone on wheelchairs in the name of Jesus let the power of God touch you right where you are in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing someone with severe heart palpitations the power of God is coming upon you right now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus there is someone you don't smell you don't smell very well as I'm praying for you right now the power of God is coming upon you in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone you have severe pain at your right side but the Lord is healing you right now this young lady come this little this little girl this fair lady come how old are you my dear you are 12 years I want to pray for you this lady you see is a very great lady as I'm looking at her in the realm of the spirit I don't know you but while I was praying the Holy Spirit directed me to you and he said I should anoint you the grace that was on Queen Esther is upon this girl in the name of Jesus Christ I declare you carry that grace be favored above your contemporaries that everywhere you go may that grace locate you in the mighty name of Jesus there's someone with pile 
you can't go to the toilet easily you have severe pain sometimes you are bleeding the power of god is touching you right now right now i'm seeing a lady whether it's the time for your menstrual cycle or not at any time you can just begin to have hemorrhage in the name of jesus the power of god is coming upon you right now pounding migraine headache you wake up in the morning you can't even shake your head because of severe pain the power of god is coming upon you right now now whether i mention your situation or not in the name of jesus be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed right now there's someone is like you have a boil i don't know where exactly around your body and it keeps going and returning going and returning the power of god is touching you right now you will check that boil and not find it again in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ you had a dream and in that dream is like an animal looks like a dog or something was chasing you and that dog beat you and from that time you've had continuous sickness again and again in the name of jesus the bible declares that even the lawful captive shall be delivered i declare be free right now everywhere inside outside i speak to you by the spirit of grace be free right now now listen to me in one minute we may not we may just have five or six minutes for testimonies i want you to check yourself and while we are celebrating jesus there are some of you even before i started ministering while you came out under the anointing here several miracles have happened check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened come boldly i want you to use either of the aisles inside or outside the people are lifting their hands celebrate jesus people are coming out celebrate jesus people are coming out please come out quickly quickly let's take a few testimonies let's take a few testimonies please be seated come out very quickly we may have a few minutes and then we can just do the prophetic part of the meeting and we're done for tonight those who are coming from outside please allow them come are you celebrating miracles people are coming out creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus and who are you celebrating miracles the name above every other name what can you change it's a miracle yes sir. what can you change jesus there's a miracle here he said that yesterday when you prayed for somebody who had a moving object in his yes body, immediately you prayed that thing stopped completely run check yourself is there anything moving in your body any pain no pain at all come on celebrate jesus come sir let him come allow him hold my hands grace for you in the name of jesus you will never be the same again yes she, please she came in here tonight with an ulcer pain ulcer for how long sir how long many years how so, many years so many again? years so many years so many years but why you pray right now it's gone completely you go and check yourself medically thank you jesus in the name of jesus hold my hands my dear it will never return to you again by the power of the holy ghost yes please go ahead sir he has been experiencing ulcers and also cough and kata ulcer why, again yes why prayer was going on the thing ceased instantly come right where you are lift your hands in the name of jesus the anointing of the holy ghost is coming upon you you will never be the same again i release that grace upon you in jesus name yes please the next person very quickly My sir, God, miracles are happening here okay sir she said she had the experience of moving object in her stomach Why how long you dear, what's your name my name is chica okay mm. how long has it been um like um four months now okay and what happened tonight yesterday you prayed and the thing left today again it came back but as i was here you when you while you're praying the thing left it and left yes 
Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. God bless you. Yes, please. There's a miracle here. You just mentioned somebody who had a hemorrhage. Whether it's her period or not, oh my she God. keeps bleeding since 2008. She said, "Why? before you started praying, the thing ceased instantly. Completely. Yes. Come on, give Jesus praise. Come. You are able. Great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. Lay your hand on your chest. I command that devil, let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, out of her life and out of her body, now and forever. In the name of Jesus, my dear, you are made whole. Turns to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. This woman here, she said she saw in a dream last monday you praying for her that the child in the womb was abridged and because of that she could not stand on her feet oh the child was it, abridged yes and you could not stand yes but and right now what happened she can stand very the child well. is corrected yes. come on now oh dear look we have to sing one Igbo song <laughs> That's all I know. Come on, sing with me. Yes, go ahead. Sir, this man here came with a very severe headache as you prayed. Now. Headache. Severe headache. Yes, man. Yes, and gone. right it's now, gone out to... it's gone completely. completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. Celebrate Jesus. Go ahead. Sir, we have just a few more minutes and then we'll just pray generally because we have to do the impartation now. This young man is having issue with going to the toilet, but immediately you mentioned his issue. He fell under the anointing and that was... Issues the going to the toilet. Yes, sir. Pile. Yes, sir. You don't even know how long. Five years. For five years. You can't go to the toilet easily. Yes, sir. I used to go to toilets once in four days. Once in four days? Yes, wow. I'm not a doctor. I don't know if that is healthy. But come, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, my friend. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit. I command that it lets you go now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. I believe in miracles. Six years moving objects and pain. Completely gone. Com God is coming upon you to grant you access to very strange opportunities hold my hands in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you you move into that realm in the spirit in the name of jesus yes please sir this young lady here has two testimony um i will pray there are so many miracles maybe we'll just take two or maybe two or three more if we can i know that some of you are itching to testify just share with them some striking ones we can just take two or three and then i pray generally i know many of you have been touched but time may not allow so that we can quickly do the impartation i'm still around i'm still around tomorrow i'm still around thursday we're having a meeting in another assembly so we're going to trust god this will be a continuation of what god is doing go ahead yes yes please. sir she had 17 years west pain gone completely right now this lady this lady and second one her right ear she cannot hear completely with it but right now she completely can hear. Yes. test her Tell her to repeat what she, yes. Jesus. 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 My God, Enugu, give Jesus praise. Come. I give the chains. Look at me. Put your hand in the ear that you couldn't hear with. That's the ear. Okay, hold my hands with the other one. In the name of Jesus, be open and you remain open forever. In the name of Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Five years eye problem, a trace of glaucoma, gone. A trace of glaucoma, yes, medically verified. Come, what's your name, my dear? For how long? It's been on, and now just place your hand on your eyes. You're going to feel like fire coming to your eyes in the name of Jesus. 
I minister the life and the power of the Spirit to you. It's gone. Gone forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Sir, Pile, since 2000. Also, sorry, since 2015. Also. Yes. My goodness. While you were praying, he felt a sensation and he was in pain. But the pains are gone right now. Please come. Can we have just one or two more? I really apologize. I would have loved to allow every, everyone share. But um, okay, let's just take maybe two more. Sir. Any striking two testimonies. Sir. And then I'll pray for the rest. Don't feel bad. Um, we we'll always have a platform. You can testify in your various churches or whatever platform you have available. This was the man who was healed of ulcer. What else do you do, my friend? You're a student. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for leadership on you. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release that grace upon you. Let it speak over your life and your destiny. In Jesus' name. Sir, she has had two major surgeries on kidney issues. Wow. And she has been having severe pains by the two right sides of the kidneys for 13 years. And, and while you prayed... Run. Run. Any, any pain. Any pain. Jump. Oh, come on. Please give Jesus praise. Surgery. Lay your hands. You will not need to do any kidney transplant. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands to you and I pray that the power that raised Christ from the dead comes upon your body, perfection, wholeness for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Also Let healed of all pain all while sad. you were praying. No, no, don't. Don't go back. Come stand. Let me pray for you. There's a reason why you came out. Let her come. Congratulations, my dear. Stretch your hands towards all these people that the Lord has touched and just pray for them passionately from your heart. May the Lord bless you, my dear. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you. The Lord will use you mightily. I'd like you to speak, declare over their lives. The ones who came out and the ones who are scattered in the congregation, we declare we declare perfection we declare wholeness in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now very quickly please be sensitive this is a very prophetic moment right now can we all rise i have a covenant with god of answered prayers the Lord has assured me that when I lift up my voice to him, he will answer. We are going to pray. I want you to stretch your hands towards this request. And I want you to believe that these Egyptians you see today, that you will see them no more forever. If you are still here to drop yours, just give it to the ushers quickly and let them bring it here. Please stretch your hands in one minute while I pray on his request. Go ahead. Stretch your hands. Begin to pray in the spirit. I hear the chains falling. Shalabaruda sedepakaruto sodo branda kadabala daba. Sakratos koporoto shobrende barita salach. Rakata baranda sadabala to sodo brandi. Epretizia saleto sada branda kadabala daba. Father, turn aside and turn around the captivity of men in the name of jesus visit families visit families by the power of the holy ghost visit families in the name of jesus christ